Hey guys, Ready I here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to scrape using ChatGPT and without knowing how to code anything. Okay, so what we're going to do first is find something to scrape. So we're going to go on Google and then I'm going to search for a real estate website. And I'm going to go to a random page to find a website that we can scrape. So hopefully something, a small real estate website. So we have this guy and he has feature listings, okay? So we have our website. So we wanna scrape the addresses, the image, the square footage, the bed and the bath. So let's try to do that. So what we're gonna do is inspect it and see if it's possible. So first things first, um, we're gonna copy the link and then go back to GBT. And I'm using Webflow, but you could just use the advanced data analysis or without plugins. And we're just gonna tell it, I want to scrape the addresses and you know what I'm gonna show you guys a better way so I want to scrape this site this website Write me a Python app that does it for me so while it generates that we're gonna do another thing so I'm inspecting element on the card and then this is the title but we're gonna go back to the full card so this is the full card, and this is another card, this is another card, this is another card. So as you can see, these were, these is, this is where all the data is placed. And if we look into it, you can see the listing title, the image, um, the link, etc. So what I'm gonna do is right click this, then I'm gonna copy, and then copy this element. And now, as it did this, and it generated the code, um, before we, Anything. We're implement it in, in our IDE. We're just going to paste this element. The data is in this element. Scrape whatever you think is relevant accordingly. There are other cards also on the website with the same formatting. Please make sure it works to scrape every card. Um, so it's generating it and while it's generating it, I'm going to open up Python, PyCharm, which is an IDE and I'm going to create a new project. And I'm going to call it, call it Scrape. So if you don't know what PyCharm is, link will be in the description. It's free, the community edition. It's basically somewhere you can actually work on your Python apps and run them. So we have our project, we just click file and project and I just made one called scrape. We open it up, it has nothing except the environment, variable and stuff. So we can go back to our browser and then we can copy this. So we can now follow the steps that it provided us. So it's gonna minimize this and then go back to PyCharm and I'm gonna make a new file. Python file, and I can just call it anything, call it main, I can call it scrape, let's call it scrape, paste this in. Okay, and as you can see, if you scroll up, it has red lines underneath, underneath these imports, which means we have to install some directories. So we can say pip install request and beautiful soup four. So it's gonna install both of these and there you go. So now we don't have any red lines, which means we have that installed um, dependencies and then we can go back to our thing and then we can see how to run it so basically what you'd run how to run it is to say Python space file name um, but I want to make sure the scraped results are in a CSV and export it to the same directory please so now I'm um, hopefully this is gonna work with one implementation but I'm going to get it to code and CSV exporter, exporter. So everything that's scraped will be exported to a CSV file, which will be located in the same directory. Um, okay. So it's done. We can copy and go back to PyCharm, paste a new code. And then all we're going to do is say Python scrape.py. So we got an error. This is good that we got an error. So I can showcase what you guys do in case you do get an error, which sometimes you will, because it depends on the website. So what we're going to do, um, to be honest, I think, wait, let me see. Let's just go here and paste this. I think I have something to do. Okay. So 
some listings don't have certain data, like this listing here doesn't have the bedroom and the bathroom. So it's causing an error, but we have to make it that if that does come up and it doesn't have the data, I mean, it says none. Okay, so we're just gonna fix this and replace, we're gonna copy the fix, paste it in. So what is this? So we get it from the listing URL. So we can copy all this, paste, and it should be working. So we can say Python scrape.py. Okay, and now we get the CSV file. So if we just double click this, it's loading. Okay, I open it too much. And there we go. Just like that, we scraped this whole website and we got all the listings, the square footage, location, URL, image, bedroom, bathroom, and price. Okay, this is one of the tricks that I use for my for building bots.